Hi, this is Glenwood with Eurosafety. The question is often asked, why is it that we can't charge the battery when we have an external power unit plugged into the helicopter? So I'd like to go over that today, and we're going to use the schematic from the AS350B3E. Now, for the most part, it's very similar to all the AS350 models, uh, including the EC130 models. And we've removed a lot of the um, stuff that we're not going to be talking about today so that the, the schematic is a little bit easier to understand. So first of all, we have our battery and our hot battery bus. Now, the electrical system, your main distribution bus, your PP12 bus, which is in the master electrical box or underneath the floor in the aft baggage department, uh, is your main distribution bus for the helicopter. Uh, battery can supply voltage to that bus, generator can supply voltage to that bus, and external power can, ex can um, supply voltage to that bus. Today we're going to limit our discussion to our external power and our battery uh, sources of electricity. So again we have our hot battery bus and it is trying to supply voltage to your main distribution bus. When you engage the battery, and it doesn't matter if it's the uh, back push button or the uh, switch, like in the B3E, the voltage can either go to your K5, which is your battery relay, or your K6, which is your external power relay it can't go to both. And you can see here that the relay, the K2 relay, which, which routes electricity to either your five or six relays, can only go one of the two sides. If there's external power plugged in to the helicopter, it will close on the K6 side. If there's not external power on the helicopter, it will close on the K5 side. So let's assume for this example here, we don't have external power plugged into the helicopter. We engage the battery switch and you notice voltage gets routed to your K5 relay, your battery relay. It then closes and then it supplies electricity to your electrical system in the helicopter to your main distribution bus located again in the FBA department. Now let's say, let's start all over again, and let's say that we had uh, external power plugged into the helicopter. Now just as a side note, you always want to plug in external power prior to turning on the battery for myriad of different reasons. So we plug in external power, which is active, either turned on or if it's like a battery pack or something, it's always on. And um, since there is voltage at your external power um, receptacle, the K2 relay will close on the six side, your external power relay side, your K6 relay side. And the relay will close and it will send electricity to your, to your electrical system. So you notice there's no way for the external power to recharge the battery because the battery relay is open and only one of the two sides can get power. I hope that uh, answers your questions about the battery and recharging it during uh, a external power being plugged in and we'll see you at the next Euro Safety tutorial.